Hello again. I'm still in the grade two listed Georgian house. It is still a bit knackered, but look, this is quite a nice room actually. Um, so one of the things I'm just going to talk about is kind of project scheduling, not even about refurb project scheduling, but all the nitty gritty little stuff. So even though I'm working with builders that I've worked with for years, completely trust, we've got a fixed price quote and a very, very good working relationship. I still pop in on this refurb like three times a week and I probably call them twice a week. And it's not that I'm um, sort of checking up on them in a kind of frowny, you know, I'm checking up in you way. It's because I want to catch, oh, forgive the knife, <laughs> I want to catch communication fast because the guys are working and they're working at a pace and there'll be a moment where they need to know the dimensions of the elbow joint for this shower so that the chippy can build the false wall that hides all the shower gubbings. And if I don't communicate to that to them in time, well, it delays the project. And they may well phone me up and say, Suze, we need this, or much more likely, and um, there's a very good book, and I'm so sorry, guys, because this is not, uh, golly, I hope this is not at all patronising, but I raised a son and a daughter, and um, there's a very good book called Raising Boys about how to communicate with boys who are young men, and very much the point was, you know how girls kind of divulge everything and they go for coffees and they look in each, each other's eyes and they just tell their friends everything. Well, the theory is that men or young men, boys, work shoulder to shoulder. So how I manage Ash is very differently to how I manage anybody else in my team if they're girl, because Ash and I go and do things and then everything comes out sideways. Uh, and with my own son, uh, we go do really cool activities and then he just tells me everything sideways. And so I've got a really big part of his life and I can hold anything that's difficult for him. So small deviation, but I actually think without being too contentious, there's something in it. So I'm working with guys, aren't I? That, you know, everybody actually, all the trades are men and it's shoulder to shoulder rather than let's sit down and discuss. Therefore, I need to be in a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder position with them really frequently for, for them to go, oh, Suze, by the way, we just need this. Oh, no problem, Steve, I'll get that for you. So one thing is be there frequently for shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder communication because they're going to need some kind of dimensions from you that only you can supply because you're buying the kit, if you do buy the kit. And normally my guys buy the kit, but um, we're getting a bit fancy on this one. So I'm buying the kit and it's copper, <laughs> copper shares. The second is about your deliveries. Now, personally, I know that my personal schedule is really quite busy. So whilst we have a number of months before this refurb is finished, as you can probably tell, because this is one of the better rooms, I still want to make sure that all my kind of designing and ordering of wallpaper, tiles and lights, as we can see here, is done way in advance because I don't want to be the bottleneck for the project. And I know that because my diary is quite busy, I'm highly likely to be the bottleneck for my project. However, you've got to really communicate about where that stuff is stored. Now, we're really lucky. I mean, this place is massive and there's nothing in it. So the guys actually have got masses of space and they've said, Suze, it's all right, we can store stuff. But in a smaller refurb, um, you get like, stuff like this delivered. You know, uh, have I, there we go. Like, these are my John Lewis lights. Um, I've decided to go for an English design theme here. So we've got all English designers. We've got Urkel, we've got Anglepoise, we've got Robin Day. Yeah, we've got the whole British thing, but very cool. But normally, boxes like that are just going to get in the way. So you need to consider whether you're going to store them at your house and then bring them in at the appropriate time or ask almost permission, even though it's your site, is there somewhere that you can place things or that they can place things and store them? Now, it's small detail and you're like, Suze, what are you telling me about this? But I tell you what, for somebody, for you, this is not your workplace. For your trades team, this is their workplace. And you like, wee, you know, look, I mean, I've actually ordered... <laughs> Terence, I've ordered Terence Conran tables already. I mean, it's not as if we're ready for the furniture, but I'm just doing it because I know my schedule is busy. Now, for for a builder to have a customer normally, for a customer to order like tables when they've still got like five or six months of renovation first, is going to be really frustrating. So just think through and communicate really well with your guys about when they want the stuff on site. And then obviously when they do arrive, you've got to check everything within, you know, seven days or whatever and make sure um, that they're not broken. So small details, but these small details create friction if you don't get it right. I'm just really fortunate this house is cavernous. Oh, and just for fun, have a look at where, can you see? Um, 
We had to take out an entire floor because it was entirely knackered. Uh, I think we had eight mil of floor holding up the whole floor with no joists. Anyway, small little detail, which is think about that whole side to side thing, particularly with the guys that you're working with. Think about being frequently in their presence so that they can communicate side to side so you can get the right dimensions for the shower elbows and also you can communicate about where you store stuff. So it is communication, but it's kind of side to side with blokes. Anyway, that's what I found. Right, old school, come from the gym. See you soon. Bye.